Hello, YouTube world. Um, big canvases, voiceover. Have to concentrate. Today, this is the fifth, fifth in a series of um, dark and moody paintings. Using exactly the same colours there as um, previous, previously used in the last two videos. Now, you obviously don't need an awful lot of paint, um, colour that is, for this dump and swirl when you have the negative space. So, you know, one of these little extreme sheen deco art bottles will do quite a few paintings, I have found. So I'm just laying a background here of a vinyl silk emulsion mixed with my normal pouring medium. My aim is to have lots of negative space and a composition that goes across these two canvases with some uh, tree work over the top. How, what shape or form that's going to take will dictate, will be dictated by uh, how this painting turns out. So I'm gonna put some music on and I, I may interject every now and then. So first mistake here is don't tilt again. <laughs> Once your pearls start coming up, um, I, I probably left a little bit too much paint on the canvas here, so I was panicking a little bit, but I should have just left well alone um, because what happens is you get wonky cells and there you go, look. Um, it would have been perfectly fine if I had left it. Now I have some rescuing to do.
So I was a lot happier with the second one than the first one, but I still need to work on the composition and I need to work on uh, tying them both together so they actually look like a diptych. So a diptych, I don't know how you pronounce that word. But anyway, um, I'm just taking off, putting on and working on actually what I want to see, bearing in mind that I'm, I'm making some space for some kind of brushwork over the top. Um, what that will be at this stage, I'm, I'm not quite sure, but I, I live with the painting once it's dry for a while before I decide what I'm going to do. There are some lovely details in this painting. Um, lovely lacing, lovely effects where the paint bleeds into the white background. It's a real mixture of pearl cells and lacing and swiping. Love that corner down there. I'm hoping this will dry well. So I've put these side by side on the easel. I always um, live with them for a few days, walk past, look at it <laughs> to see if any inspiration comes to mind. I wish this one wasn't so muddy across through the centre but then I did if you watch the video right the way through you will see that I scraped it and did it again a couple of times I think 
but I like this one the way, the way this champagne kind of comes through a little bit. Beautiful lacing effects down here. And there. So I'm going to be working on my tree. Now, I always give this a lot of thought.